This is Jacques Bahati, Africa Faith and Justice Network Policy Analyst. I'm Sister Ignatia Safua Buabin, a sister of the Congregation of Handmaids of the Holy Church Jesus. Naomi Ade Obuo, a member of the Congregation of the Handmaids of the Holy Church Jesus. I'm Sister Catherine Ga, a sister of the Infant Jesus in the Archdiocese of Cape Coast. My name is Mama Alovi II, Queen Mother of Dofo Agovame, North Tong in the Volta region of Ghana. Mama II, Ntribo Manjani, that's the paramount chief of Ntribo traditional area, Leoniasi being the paramount city. We continue our awareness um, and uh, prevention program in Ghana regarding land grabbing proposing one solution, which is responsible investment. We've been working together since 2014 on this issue of land grab. What have been the outcome? Has there been any change? Have we made an impact? Oh yes, it has worked very well, especially around our area here. Let me say uh, Oti region, formerly Northern Volta. The people have now understood how to release lands to people. So even when a, an investor or even a small-scale uh, person comes to seek for land, they call me and list, uh, uh, listen to my advice, what they should do to the people. And I've also been telling them, even though we don't deal with small-scale, but they should still look uh, for better agreement. They should find out what the people actually want to use the land for before they go into uh, agreement. The education so far that our people has re have received from this group to assure them of how to release their land and make sure that their land is well invested and have, they have their share of the profit of their land is very important. So we have to put things in place so that the next generation can also benefit from the limited land and the resources we have. In 2015, I met Africa Faith and Justice Network representative at Ho. He came to Ho to educate Queen Mothers on land release and management. Over there, I realized I was facing the same problem in my community. An investor came to, uh, please allow me to use this word. He came to grab my family land. The land the person, the investor took is almost 5,000 hectares, not acres, hectares. In fact, before we realized, they were about signing the agreement. God being so good on our side, a friend of mine happened to lay hand on the agreement and then called my attention immediately. I have to contact Mr. Bahati because he had come to Ho and educated the Queen Mother's which I took part. I happened to be part of it. So I called him. He gave me uh, pro, 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 procedures to follow. He asked me to write petition to Lands Commission, the National Lands Commission, the Regional Lands Commission, the appropriate courtesies. In fact, I followed the steps and I wrote the petition. We went to the Lands Commission that day when they were about signing the agreement. Then I said, no, my land is not for lease again. Even the amount they offered was three cities per hectare, not even acre, per hectare, for 50 good years. Lo and behold, the land commissioner wrote to us in about three months time that my land has been given back to me for the right thing to be done. We believe that the government should be protecting the people whose livelihood uh, cannot be defended by any other person except the government. We've suggested the community to write to their, uh, to their representatives 
uh, starting by the district um, uh, chief executive to the uh, regional minister and then go as high as possible so that they can get uh, the government to defend their interest. We have to fight for our land. We have to make our land precious for our people because we are farmers, we are cattle rarers. Investors who come to our country to take our land, they have not been fair to us. We had discovered in one village called Kelokpo in Bato, uh, this is in the Volta region, that investors has been actually polluting uh, the water sources uh, belonging to uh, the community. This is a serious problem. Our land is very, very limited. And as we always hear, we always hear day in and day out that people are being born every day, every minute, every second. But never has it been recorded that a land has been born to us. We say it again and we, we not uh, say it enough. It's responsible investment should be life-giving to the communities where the investment is done instead of uh, death-giving. Agroecology is the way forward to a sustainable Africa. Agriculture, healthy environment and food independence. Agrocolonialism is a threat to Africa's food security, economic independence, seed sovereignty, peace, geopolitical strength, and is even worse than colonization.